Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover in Las Vegas, and I'm here with Doug Smith of Texmark Chemicals and J.R. Fuller from HPE, and you guys are leaving the vision for the refinery of the future. Tell me what that means. Absolutely. Uh, so the refinery of the future is this concept that, uh, that Doug and I came up with to, uh, to, to figure out how to apply IoT technologies in a refinery environment and how to be able to take it to other organizations as we prove these things out. Uh, so very, very specifically, we have a phase one where we put in ubiquitous Wi-Fi from Aruba in a Div 1 enclosure. So this is an enclosure that can handle a, a hazardous environment space, uh, like you know, flammable gas and those types of things. Location-based services with the Aruba beacons, uh, Meridian wavefinder services, and uh, ClearPass. So that was phase one. Phase two, we replaced all of their rack mount compute with edge line. Uh, converged IoT systems. We have one of them on the wall actually in his uh, command and control center and we have another one um, in a micro data center, the HP micro data center like you can see on the show floor. Um, we have another one in there and when we expand our compute we'll be putting more compute into that center. So phase one and phase two is kind of what I call our infrastructure phase. Phase three is where we're putting the over overlaying the five IoT projects that we have onto that infrastructure. So the first one is predictive analytics. So this is both at the discrete level and and the process level, doing video as a sensor, so leveraging that edge compute to be able to do some advanced video analytics right at the edge on the streaming. Number three is um, worker safety and security, so this would be things like man down and directed response. Number four is our connected worker, so this is location-based context-aware content. So the example I use to make it clear to everybody is, say we have a wired pump and we're using like an augmented reality or something like that, so we have three different people standing there, one person from maintenance, one person from operations, one person from finance, and they're all looking at their uh, augmented reality dashboard. They'd get three different dashboards based on the location that they're at and the context, who they are, they get they get derived content. And then they have a couple of sister projects that they're running right now, a DCS upgrade, and then they have a project with a company called Enios, which is a Palladio system, which is a mechanical integrity uh, project. And we're going to tie into that with a full lifecycle asset management solution. So that's that's the refinery of the future technology in a nutshell. Yeah, All what right, so he said. <laughs> <laughs> so so Doug, how does how does this change the way you do business? Sure. So it it is all about people, and uh, at Textmark, we're a small fifty year old company, and we have a dedicated and focused work group that has been working closely with HPE to bring these IoT solutions to the plant to allow people to work more safely and more efficiently and also to be able to start being a draw the place to be for a new generation of workers that's it in a nutshell so so what have you seen as some early wins out of this um, early wins buy-in from the team uh, one of the big challenges with any type of change is getting people to buy in especially if you have been doing something in petrochem environment for 30 years I'm gonna retire I don't want to do it that way and so educating our workforce, teaching them how this technology can can really help them do their jobs that they have been working, that they can spend their time on. I'll give you an example. We have 133 pumps in the plant and our millwrights have an inspection schedule where they physically inspect all those pumps so there's time and there's energy involved with that. When we sensor, when we are able to know when a pump using predictive analytics if we know a pump is going to fail those guys can go spend their time on fixing those pumps rather than walking around and inspecting things that there are no problems on. So, so they're catching the problems faster? Exactly yes sir and I, I heard you say cash and there's savings in all of this and that there are all sorts of financial benefits to the company for implementing this solution. Excellent. Well, guys, I look forward to seeing where this goes next. Me too. Thank Come you. Come back to Madrid because we're going to update in Madrid. So. All right. All right. I'll be there. All right. Thanks, Good. guys. Thank Thanks. you.